Sovius has been described as a bedrock for physical meaningful development as a result of what they do. They are really relevant to society and the role they play for us to have a beautiful environment because they work with the major tools for physical development. My guest today is, is still the registrar, Sovius Council of Nigeria, Sovio Kabul Monzor Mohammed, FNIS, former Sovio General Kazina State. You're welcome to the program again. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, <laughs> good evening, everyone. Last week, we dwelt so much on the activities of SOCON in Nigeria as well as other things you have been able to do, the changes you have made, the gesset you have done, and whatever. But today, I want you to look at the, this very important issue on this. The public um, con used to confuse about you is a severe. They believe that whoever carries poles and tapes is a severe. Oh, yeah. Then, the, what, what do you have to say about this one? The, these activities of who are not registered members of your institution? Uh, okay, thank you uh, once more. And uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, like I said the, last week, the who is a Sovio? Like I said, is a person who is uh, registered or does happen according to the provisions of the Act. Okay. Uh, S18, 2004, Section 9 of the Act. Uh, Quakery is everywhere. Not only in Sobe. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the only place we may not have quacks are in, in law practice because you have to go and present yourself. Even <laughs> there, I learned there was a quack <laughs> who was presenting himself before a judge before as a judge. lawyer. Okay. So, but doctors, we have quack, engineers have quack, mechanics, everything you, you have quack. Okay. Uh, but one thing about Sobe, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what we are doing to. to, 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 to to curb this issue okay. of quack. Okay. 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 The issue of information, number one. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, number two, the issue of ethics and sensitization. Let me take the information first. Okay. Uh, in Sove, like I always say, it's one of the only profession in Nigeria whereby with the least qualification, okay. you can, least qualification, least qualification okay you can aspire to become registered. And whatever level of qualification you have, there is a place for you. So there is no need for quackery. Let me give an ex as an example. So I don't need to be, you don't need to be a graduate. You don't need to be. Okay. Let me give you as an example. Okay. There are two ways of becoming a survey. Either through qualification or through examinations. Hmm. And let me ex ex uh, explain more. Okay. There are four categories of Sovios okay. in the register of Sovios. But of course, in order to eliminate even quickly, the council added another one, the fifth. Mm. Thus, we have pre-technicians. Okay. You can register as a pre-technician, you can register as a technician, as technologist, or as pupil Sovio, and then a Sovio. These Sovio. are the five. Okay. Five states. Yeah. Okay. So as for pre-technician, if you have your WAEC, NBTE, SSCE, whatsoever, secondary school or level certificate, you have your physics, you have your mathematics, you have your English, okay. physics or, or geography, mm -hmm. and then two other mm -hmm. uh, uh, courses. Okay. You are, even if it is history, Hausa, Yoruba, mm -hmm. RK, any religion subject. studies, okay. any other two subjects, subjects, you can be registered as a pre technician. And then as a pre-technician, you can practice under okay. a resistance of you. Sorry. You understand? Okay. So he will guide you, he will mentor you, and then when you sit for examinations in two years, after two years privilege, you go and register for uh, techno I mean technician. technician. After that, you do examination, you register for technologist. After that, you do examination, you register for people okay. of you. Okay. And then with your secondary school certificate, you can become a resistor So there is room for everybody. There is room for everybody. You don't need to. So there is no need for you to, to, be, to be hiding, to be quiet. No. Go to a resistor and uh, get yourself involved with him. If you are afraid of studies, you can do it on the job. Okay. And you learn and you sit for the examination and you pass the examinations. And then you also become registered. The second issue, like I told you, is the issue of ethics. Okay. In no society or in no profession, 
course. Town quarks exist without the full cooperation of those who are registered. Mm. Sove is highly regulated profession. In most cases, the product of Sove is Sove plan, mm. whether quarks or profession oh, whatsoever is okay. Sove plan. Mm. And there are rules and laws that are governed that survey plan. It is admissibility in court. It's only when that survey plan is signed by a survey. Okay. Supposedly carried out and signed by a survey. So what do quacks usually do? Mm -hmm. They go and do their work okay. and then they come and bring this for the survey to, so, to sign for them. Okay. If there is no surveyor who is willing to sign, who is willing to compromise the standard, a quack cannot exist. Okay. Before we go for brief, go for brief. that means there is convenience, you can convenience with the members. There is, of course, okay. not uh, only in survey but in any profession. Okay. How do you intend to call it now? Well, once we, members? once we uh, apprehend those kind of people, okay. they are reported to the council, there is what we call the surveyors investigating uh, panel, which is constituted by the government, okay. and then we'll investigate if he's found wanting, if he's found to have uh, really compromised his uh, status and integrity, okay. then at the end of the day, his name can be deregistered. His name can be struck out of the Soviet okay. register, okay. his certificate confiscated, that, and mean, uh, okay. he can be tried in a court of law and then prosecuted. But the one thing is, uh, there is no provision in the Sarkon Act okay. to, for Sarkon to try somebody who is a PAC. Okay. Okay. Because okay. Quackery, you can only quackery, try your, you yeah. try your member. Yeah, you can only try, try professional, professional members. members. Quackery is a criminal offense, okay. you understand. It's not a profession, it's not ethical offense. Okay. So if you are a quack, usually will allow, better allow the NIS, APPSN okay. to prosecute such kind of process. Okay. Your regulation does not give room for any quack, for quack at all? Well, our own is to enforce discipline within the profession, you understand? Okay. A quack is outside the profession. Outside profession. Okay. He's not part of the profession. Okay. So, but uh, NIS, APPSN and other interest groups, they can prosecute somebody like that. Like that. Yeah. So the SIP, we, as an example, the Soviet investigating panel, they okay. cannot call somebody who's not a Soviet. So, you know, they cannot investigate that person who's a Soviet. Okay. <laughs> but of course, we can go and, and let's, let's say, report him to the police, and then the police will prosecute him. But then how, how, how many quacks are there that Sokon will continue to be? To, to you will have hundreds of thousands of them. Okay. But the NIS at state level, the mm. APFs and APFs state, and level. state level, okay. and other stakeholders at state level, they will be able to do that on behalf of the circle. So that's, that's, if we go on break now, now. when we come back, we continue with Sovios and you, with the Registrar, Sovio Council of Nigeria, Sovio Kabiru, Monsor, Mohammed, FNIS, on why you must know the importance of Sovios in our society. We shall be back after this time out. Do you want to survey your land with records copy? Perhaps you need professional advice on land matters or land-related issues. Nigerian Institution of Surveyors of the State Branch is ready to assist any individual. It is also an offense punishable under the law to remove, change, destroy, damage, or build on survey beacon or any boundary mark. To avoid wastage or double expenses on surveys through quackery or prevent collapse of buildings through unprofessional practices or any problem on land-related matters, Patronize registered members of the institution. Our members are spread across the state with green and white signposts. For further inquiries, contact us at Surveyor's House, 97B Jeja Road, at Bogota, the State. For inquiries, please call 0703-042-4030 or email ogosurveyors at yahoo.co.uk. At Nigerian Institution of Surveyors of the State Branch, the land matters is our concern. Still on the Soviets and you on OGTV. Uh, my guest is the former Soviet general, Kajina State, and presently the, the registrar, Soviet Council of Nigeria, Soviet Kabul, Monzo, Mohammed, FNIS. Before we went on break, we were talking about looking at the quackery and the effect on the society. 
Now let's look at the, 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 the obstacles of, of, yours, of your members. There are obstacles associated with your profession. One of them that soviets are always victim of land dispute. Some are arrested and some also are being detained, at times jailed. Then why do you, what is the, the council doing uh, to arrest the situation? <clears throat> Thank you so much. Uh, it's normal for a surveyor to be attacked, for a surveyor to mm -hmm. be apprehended, and for a surveyor sometimes even to be killed. Mm -hmm. I've seen cases like that because uh, land is central mm -hmm. to people, not only from the commercial values, but also from the cultural as well as their personal, personal. attachment mm -hmm. to that land. Okay. So anything that disturbs the land is something that is very uh, seriously Serious considered issue. by the people. <laughs> In particular, when you go to the issues of uh, boundaries, okay. boundaries is where many of the Soviets suffer a lot of losses, including of their equipment, and mostly yes. they suffer uh, life. Mm. So one of the things we always try to do is to educate our members okay. to act professionally. Okay. Like uh, how they act professionally? Yeah. Uh, number one, you have to know the environment. Okay. That's why we have what we call reconnaissance survey. Hmm? First of all, you not without not not that you just carry your instrument, enter the bush, and then you start surveying. No, you have to have intelligence reports Report about, about that position, that community, or that land you are dealing with. Okay. You have to evaluate the danger. Hmm? If you feel okay, I can go on my own. There's no problem, but sometimes there's need for you to provide additional protection. You will need that. Number two, you have to be calm, particularly in dispute management. Okay. Number three, that's what we educate our people. Okay. You have to be impartial because any small thing can in be interpreted to mean that you are supporting another okay. side. Okay. That's why we say you, be neutral. Will, you have when to be neutral. neutral. That's why we say surveyors are expert witness. Even in court, it does happen. Okay. Like expert that. witness. Expert witness. Okay. You detach your emotions, you detach your feelings okay. on anything but based on the record that you have. You are an expert there. You either submit it as a lay witness okay. or as an expert witness where they seek your advice and further interpretation. Okay. So, by and large, you cannot eliminate that. And uh, I think what brings that uh, is the issue of land acquisition. Acquisition. And the issue of land I want to mention. Uh, yeah, in particular. Okay. In particular. That's outside the issues of uh, uh, boundary. Boundary. Would, that boundary would be okay. either interstate, inter international, international local government. Okay or even interpersonal mm -hmm. between my land and your own land. There is always this food, so we count them as boundary dispute boundary. because they even, com them. even communal with Yeah, communal. Even between, between me and you, and you boundary, we can dispute this boundary. Of course. Say, okay, you, have, you are too close to me. To me oh, no, you, you, you have, have to shoot small. So, <laughs> so this is kind of, but uh, we would like to talk on the issue of the compensation because, it's, I mean, land acquisition because it's something that happens everywhere and everywhere. Hmm. Uh, the Land Use Act, has given the surveyor the right to enter into any land provided he causes minimum destruction of crops or whatever it is mm -hmm. and provided he does that okay. at hours that are not unusual. Okay. Because you cannot simply go to somebody's house and start knocking at no. 12, 12 noon. I mean 12 o'clock in the minutes. night and then you tell him that you come to survey his property. Okay. It, it doesn't make sense. It's abnormal. It's abnormal. <laughs> so, uh, but by and large, I think we can be helped when government and state governors okay. become more lenient and more appreciating the commercial, the cultural, and the personal affinity between man and land. Okay. Uh, the land use has given the governor a totality of power. Okay. You know, 
it says he's the custodian of the land. To maintain Buddhist land. Yeah, he's the custodian of the land, he's the manager of the land, he's the administrator of the land, he's the controller of the land. It's all all, 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 all all in the land, you understand. So sometimes they tend to abuse that power. Hmm. Or sometimes they are given advice that is not favorable. So we feel there is need for us to have more judicious means of acquiring okay. disposal and payment of compensation. Why do people attack Soviets usually during uh, compensation assessment? It's because of what they saw happened with maybe the adjoining landholders. Okay. You come and take my land. That land I've been surviving on it, farming or doing something like that, driving rent from that land. Of course. You come and take it. That land might cost less, like say one million era. Mm-hmm. When government wants to compensate you, if you are very lucky, it will pay you one hundred thousand euro over that same piece of land. Okay. And then the government will go and do layout on that land, and then most likely they will share the plots to political friends, political friends. To <laughs> ETC, and, and then that land, which was supposed to have been one million era. Mm-hmm. Is now subdivided, and then you see people building mansions, mansions selling that land for like 10 million naira. Why? As well, you're doing only naturally 100,000 naira. Okay. Naturally, people feel oppressed. Okay. Your of government course. approaches I, uh, them, yes. okay, want to acquire yeah. your land. Yeah. 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 So that's why, and so, views, like I said, they're always the first people to go to site. Of course. So that is how we get a lot of attack. Mm. But then, if there is understanding between the society or the community or the landholder, mm and the government, I think things will be, people will call, will call government, okay, come and take my land. Mm-hmm. If I know that I'm going to benefit, okay. if I know that the government is I doing think. like, a, out of every template that the government developed, it, 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 it will make road, it will make light, water, everything, okay. Okay. and then it will give me like five of the templates. What's my, Why did you what's give my it to problem? Government? You understand? <laughs> the government takes the five, and then I take five. <laughs> For, for the fact that it's my property, government take the fire for the fact that government has brought light, water, a road, mm-hmm. and has therefore it's increased the value of the beneficial property. Beneficial to everybody. Beneficial. So you will see people even calling government, mm-hmm. please come and take over my property. But it's the case, the reverse is the case. The reverse is the case. A land of one million naira, you come and give one somebody like 100,000 naira, and then you divide the land and give to your friends. Your friends sell it like 20 million naira no, 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 per no, You did mention, I think another, another obstacle in the, in the, in the facing by members is the issue of the land, the mass land tightening. Because some state government, in an attempt to increase their idea as a result of shortfall on federal location, they just they, they embark on mass land tightening, yeah. thereby disregarding or compromising the survey content and regulations. So what, what, how do you weep into that? Uh, we have to appreciate, we surveyors and everyone, that uh, rental ban, that is the benefit derived from land. Okay. It doesn't mean the rent you are collecting okay. from your tenant. Rental ban, anything you produce from the land, okay. is called the rental ban of the value. land. Uh, it's what moves nation. If the, the land is the only source or the ultimate source of development anywhere uh, in the world. Okay. Therefore, when government uh, wants to increase IGR, the best way to do it is with the land. Okay. Therefore, <laughs> we as professionals, okay. we have to partner with government. Okay. So that they benefit and we benefit as professionals, you understand? For us to oppose the government, I think our case is non-starter. The first thing is let us understand with the government, what do you want and how do we come in? How do we become parties in progress? It should be confrontational. No, no, no. Government can make mistakes here and there. Of course. But if you are talking, if you are discussing, you can fit in and the government, okay, this is the best way to do this thing, not confrontational. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, virtually the issues of uh, 
mass tightening. Mass tightening. I can recall the issues of uh, S what they call SLTR. Okay. That's systematic land title okay. and, 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 and registration, okay. which is uh, very common in many of the states. Uh, SOCON and the council itself, in the bid for it mm -hmm. to not to be confrontational, okay. number one, okay. and to key in to the government and to key into the presidential technical committee or land reform because it's general, in general now, okay. uh, has come out with what we call parcel plan. Okay. That parcel plan has been approved, I think, in July 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So most of the problems that Soviets are likely to face mm -hmm. in the execution of their professional work okay. when it comes to issues of mass housing, mass land allocation, the Spassel plan has taken care of those issues. Okay. You understand? So it makes it easier. Because, look, if you are using the conventional means of survey, mm and the government wants you to survey like 100 plots. It wants to uh, allocate to people, collect uh, uh, rent, okay. ETC and ETC. If you are using conventional method, okay. it will take you like more than 100 days to complete, no matter how fast There will be delay. There will be delay. And government cannot, cannot, cannot afford that delay. <laughs> <laughs> so you understand, so you have to compromise your standard, you have to see that, okay, your standards, of course, mm -hmm. are protected, okay. but then if there is something that you should eliminate, you eliminate mm -hmm. them. And let me tell you one thing, it's not only in Nigeria that they are complaining about Soviet mm -hmm. delaying progress. Okay. It's universal. Everywhere you go, every professional mm -hmm. meeting you go, okay. you will hear that, okay, so you are the ones that are yeah, delayed. Because, yeah, they are delayed. It's not intentional, you understand. Okay. They want to see that things are done according, according to, standard. to the standard. Because a small mistake in land, mm -hmm. just a foot like this, can bring a war between communities. You just so one we have to. Yeah. Just one minute. We observe that the, we are in, in, we are in, 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 in technological world now. And most of the equipment you need is drone. There are yeah. many, but drone. Yeah. But we observe that the security agent at the airport, when it's being imported, they, they, they've been seized from your members. Then what can you do the, the, as, as registrar of the council? In just one minute. Yeah, okay, in just one minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's need for more engagement with the security agencies. Okay. And uh, the need for the security agencies, particularly the uh, Air Force, which, who are mostly responsible for that, the, the uh, Navy and the Nigerian Army they should realize that they are part and parcel of soccer okay. by the provision of the act. Okay. Therefore, there is need for more engagement among all the professions, those who are related. More importantly, I think we need to engage in order to bring out a national policy okay. on drone, which we don't have now. Okay. We need national policy on drone. We have national policy. We need national policies on course. course. So that will make things easier. When there's national policy, everyone will follow according to that national policy. That's interesting. Uh, you've had it all from the registrar, the Soviet Council of Nigeria, and the Soviet Kabir Monzo, Mohammed, FNIS. You're talking, you're talking about why you need to, why you need to embrace Soviet their activities in society, and most importantly, why they are for development of society. I want to thank you for doing the opportunity to chat with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. It's my pleasure yeah, that you yeah, get yeah. to Cardinal State, Stephen Sand. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so until next week, I remain your friend, Lekon Izoi. Bye for now, and God bless you. Do you want to survey your land with records copy? Perhaps you need professional advice on land matters and land-related issues. Nigerian Institution of Surveyors of the State Branch is ready to assist any individual. It is also an offense punishable under the law to remove, change, destroy, damage, or build on survey beacon or any boundary mark. To avoid wastage or double expenses on surveys through quackery or prevent collapse of buildings through unprofessional practices or any problem on land-related matters, 
supporters, patronized, registered members of the institution. Our members are spread across the state with green and white signposts. For further inquiries, contact us at Surveyor's House, 97B Jeja Road, Abilta State. For inquiries, please call 0703-042-4030 or email ogosurveyors at yahoo.co.uk. At Nigerian Institution of Surveyors in the State Branch, the land matters is our concern.